Hi, my name is Whitney Mead, and today I invite you to pray with me the prayers for the social order from the Book of Common Prayer. If you enjoy this prayer, I invite you to subscribe to my channel where I post new Christian encouragement videos and devotionals every week. Let's pray. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move in every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to confront one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Almighty God, we thank you for making the earth fruitful so that it might produce what is needed for life. Bless those who work in the fields, give us seasonable weather, and grant that we may all share the fruits of the earth, rejoicing in your goodness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, we remember before you those that suffer want and anxiety from lack of work. Guide the people of this land so to use our public and private wealth that all may find suitable and fulfilling employment and receive just payment for their labor. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. O eternal God, bless all schools, colleges, and universities, that they may be lively centers for sound learning, new discovery, and the pursuit of wisdom. And grant that those who teach and those who learn may find you to be the source of all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. O oh God, in the course of this busy life, give us times of refreshment and peace, and grant that we may so use our leisure to rebuild our bodies and renew our minds, that our spirits may be opened to the goodness of your creation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Heavenly Father, in your word, you have given us a vision of that holy city to which the nations of the world bring their glory. Behold and visit, we pray, the cities of the earth. Renew the ties of mutual regard, which form our civic life. Send us honest and able leaders. Enable us to eliminate poverty, prejudice, and oppression, that peace may prevail with righteousness and justice with order and that men and women from different cultures and with differing talents may find with one another the fulfillment of their humanity. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Lord Christ, when you came among us, you proclaimed the kingdom of God in villages, towns, and lonely places. Grant that your presence and power may be known throughout this land. Have mercy upon all of us who live and work in rural areas and grant that all the people of our nation may give thanks to you for food and drink and all other bodily necessities of life. Respect those who labor to produce them and honor the land and the water from which these good things come. All this we ask in your holy name. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God, we remember before you all poor and neglected persons whom it would be easy for us to forget, the homeless and the destitute, the old and the sick, and all who have none to care for them. Help us to heal those who are broken in body or spirit and to turn their sorrow into joy. Grant this, Father, for the love of your Son, who for our sake became poor, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Look with pity, O Heavenly Father, upon the people in this land who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to these our neighbors. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection of the law and equal opportunities for all. 
and grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of this land. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, for our sake, you were condemned as a criminal. Visit our jails and prisons with your pity and judgment. Remember all prisoners and bring the guilty to repentance, an amendment of life according to your will, and give them hope for their future. When any are held unjustly, bring them release. Forgive us and teach us to improve our justice. Remember those who work in these institutions. Keep them humane and compassionate and save them from becoming brutal or callous. And since what we do for those in prison, O oh Lord, we do for you, constrain us to improve their lot. All this we ask for your mercy's sake. Amen. Almighty God, whose loving hand hath given us all that we possess, grant us grace that we may honor thee with our substance and remembering the account which we must one day give, may be faithful stewards of thy bounty. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you proclaim your truth in every age by many voices. Direct in our time, we pray, those who speak where many listen and write what many read, that they may do their part in making the heart of this people wise, its mind sound, and its will righteous, to the honor of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining me for these prayers for the social order from the Book of Common Prayer. I'm Whitney Mead, and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel, where I post new Christian encouragement and devotional videos every week. You can also join my free video devotional series, Fitness and the Father, by texting the word Whitney to 31996, or by signing up for free at fitnessandthefather.com. May the Lord bless you and keep you. I'll see you next time.